like an idiot. Talk like an idiot. Like an idiot. Like an idiot. Why is bread so expensive? Because of the taxes? What? Oh. <laughs> hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in the Oxbow. Alrighty, we are halfway through winter and we I was working on putting up some fencing and stuff around the village. So we enclosed the crops here and I got the fences all done. I had enough sticks to go through and build all of this fencing. And then of course we got the fencing between the buildings here. Uh, I believe this took planks. Of course I had plenty of planks for that because there was only a few sections and we only utilized it between the buildings. Uh, that way, I mean, I, I didn't want to run it behind. There was no sense to have fence right here on each of these buildings. Might as well just use the building as fencing. And then uh, I put these gates, as you can see, they're set back just behind the fence itself, but you can walk through them and it doesn't stop. So the fence doesn't actually, they don't collide. So if villagers are walking through, they're not going to get stuck going one direction. I'm still not convinced that I like having the gates on both sides of the farm shed. However, I mean, it works. I just don't know that this gate is going to get used because villagers, if I have farmers here, they're going to come and they're going to walk between these two buildings to go to their, uh, the farm shed instead of coming down and utilizing this one. So I might, as much as I hate it, I'm, I don't want to do a double fence here because it's not level one fence or one gate, excuse me. I don't want to do a double gate here because it's not level. Having the second gate on this right side, as you can see, the fence is even lower than the gate. I don't like gates that don't match. So, and I'm afraid of villagers getting stuck going through one gate. But I also don't think the villagers in the game are smart enough to go, hey, I'm stuck. Let me choose a different what pathway. You know, so like if there's a, a stuck timer i don't know how it works in developing but like if you get a bunch of villagers and i've i've seen pictures i've seen it in my games to where villagers will get stuck at a gate because there's one trying to leave and one trying to come in and then neither one of them wants to give up the spot they just sit there and they do that for a long time <laughs> and if you have villagers trying to get through the gate that need to be physically at their workstation so like the field they physically have to work the field they don't work the field on the way to the field so like um your miners your miners as they're walking to their workstation whether they're walking to the cave or whether they're walking to the mine or whatever they're working they're gathering materials as they're walking farmers do not farmers do not gather materials as they're walking to the farm they have to physically be in the farm in the uh, fields and stuff like that to be working so uh, i'm i'm worried that having a single gate is going to is going to hinder that at some point maybe not maybe if i make sure that only the farming people are down in those buildings there then maybe it won't become an issue i don't know we'll, we'll have to see if it becomes an issue i guess we'll we'll address it at that time however uh i want to kind of continue working on um kind of decorating the village a little bit and i think I might have a solution because I was struggling uh, with this gap here between the buildings. It, it bothers me for whatever reason. That gap bothers me. And I'm not 
100% sold on this low fencing all the way around. So I'm wondering, I saw, we have new stuff. Where did I see it? Uh, I gotta find it. Nope. Maybe under fencing. Is it under fencing? No. Yes? No. Here it is. No. <laughs> so, under plants. It took me a minute to find it, but under plants, these trellises. Um, now, granted, the, these trellises are typically like archways. There's two of them here. You can visibly see that they're an archway. However, the simple trellis looks like it's a wall type trellis. So I want to buy that. And I want to see. I have to have the resources to actually even place it. So you can't just place it as a ghost. Okay, well, let me go grab some sticks. And we're going to see how that looks. Because it may... It may add a little pop of color back there as well. Uh, where are my sticks? I'm going to have to do something about my weight. I'm about 370 kilograms to my limit there. Um, as you can see, I've only got, I got less than 200 sticks left, so I can't do a whole lot of stick work today. Uh, let's just grab 20 of those real quick. And let's go down here and see if I can place... Oh. How big is that? Like, like I can't see how big it is, how thick it is. Okay, so it's really not too terribly thick. But like maybe I could place it right in front of that. Is that going to look decent? I know I got the fencing there, but I think it's going to overlap that fencing. Let's place that and see what it looks like. Okay. I like that. Hang on, hang on. Let's, let's get rid of that. I actually kind of like that. I'm... Oh, but it would still block the window. But maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe I set another one on either side of it? Let's, let's try that. Let's see how that's going to work. Because what's the worst that can happen? I tear it down? <laughs> okay, let's place one right next to it. And then we'll place another one on the other side. Where's the... What am I hitting? There's a collision somewhere. Oh, not enough resources. I'm out of sticks. How many sticks does that thing take? Ten, apparently. Or something. To where I don't have enough. Oh... Oh, okay. I only had 20 sticks and it takes eight. All right, let's go grab some more sticks. Stick, stick, stick. Sticks. Sticks. There they are. Let's just grab something like that. Now, granted, it's not green because it's winter, but I think maybe once it's springtime, it'll, it'll be green again. At least that's what I'm kind of hoping. At least that way we can also utilize some of the new items. Come on. Here's that. I want to... How far back can we take it? I think right there. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good, actually. So we still have the low fencing. Right along here. And I might even... I don't have to remove that. That does that doesn't block the building, but it looks like it blocks anything from going underneath the house. Yeah, the baby's laughing. I like that. That that looks good. I like that. You, you can't even really you can kind of see light through it, but you can't see through it. I do like that. Now the question is you can't walk through it, can you? No. Okay, good. So now I'm wondering if... If maybe I put a trellis... Behind each of these here, and then maybe one at the end. And then that'll keep my villagers from walking through here at all. Can we... Let's see. 
I don't know if that's going to even look good or not, but... Okay, so the buildings... Okay, so the buildings do line up. But I don't know that I would want it... So that kind of comes out into the pathway for the stairs. Uh, let's try behind... Uh, actually, no. Let's keep it this way. Because I just want to block the path. Like this. So let's do that. Okay, I like that. And then we'll come around this other side and do one over. Oh, we can't place it. It's too close. Obstacles in the building site. Well, poo diddly. Okay, well then that's just not going to work. I don't like that. Nope, not, I'm not going to punch it. We're going to destroy it. There we go. I'm going to have to figure something else out there. So like maybe once uh, once I get the stone wall, that might work. Let's see what if I can even get a fence in there. Let's see. Looks like I probably can. Uh, no, it's not going to let me. It's not going to let me do that. Um, how about we try this? Let's see, that's letting me place that there all the way to there. Maybe it's too tall. Aha, but it's crooked. Eh. See, this is where the st I think the stone would look better. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal that they walk between the buildings. I just I don't want them thinking that they can go this way. Because if they think that there might be a path through here, they're just going to walk up here and stand here. Ah. Do do do. How do I want to do that? Um, do I have windows out the back of these houses? I don't remember if I put back windows in. No. Solid wall. Okay. Solid wall. That could... We can maybe just do something like this. Can we get... If we bring this all the way along the back to here... Like that. That's a lot of logs. We could do that along each. This is almost a useless amount of logs, though. Okay. Let's take these logs down. Log fence. Let's make sure it says log fence. Log fence. Log fence and log fence. And go back into that. Let's go back into the fencing. I do like the log fence, but like I think I'm just going to go uh, like maybe from this post here, as close as I can get it, to this post here. Like that. So that literally just blocks the area. Yeah. I, I like that. And it's it's straight. It's not like... It's not like angled. Like the fence was angled. Okay, now the question is, is can I get another one in here? Looks like I might be able to. And take that one to... We do this, take that to like right there. Okay, let's get a third person so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Now, I don't think I'm going to build any more houses out here because I think it's too steep. If I remember when I was placing these houses, I think it was too steep to place those. Oh, maybe not. Hang on. Let's let's see if we can get this to line up. Put that on the W. Bring that forward. Just 
right there. Oh, it's not too steep. So we could put a couple of more houses in here. Let's see. Let's. Yeah. And there's something blocking me here. I think that's why I decided there wasn't going to be another row of houses is because I couldn't put I couldn't put all three here. That's why. Because there's it's telling me that there's something here, which is probably these rocks or something. I need some water. Yeah, I know you need some water. Hang on, let's uh let's go see. Bucket of water. Let's drink a little bit of water. And how's our meat? 84% condition. We'll eat some meat. Nope, not going to eat an iron arrow. That would kind of defeat the purpose. So, because we're not going to have any more houses, then maybe I run a fence I know not every along here. Hmm. Although those... Houses don't all quite line up. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I could put that trellis on this end. That would work. And then I wouldn't really need a fence. What am I doing? Uh, plants, trellis, and I'm shy one stick. Seriously, one stick. Here's one right here. <laughs> Collect that stick. And then I could place a trellis right here. Scoot it back. Get it right there. There we go. And then that blocks that off. Makes it look kind of nice. I could put a pathway like across here. Let's... Um, Pathway across here. Like that. Yeah, I like that. I'm not exactly sure if I want to, like, put up palisades around the village or not. Like, protective walls. But I'm almost thinking if I do that, maybe bring that down here. Huh. What if... What if I made an area down here for, like, laundry? You know, like these houses here, like their laundry is being done out here. Uh, because we do have these workstations. See, we got laundry workstations. We have a laundry station, and then we've got like four different clotheslines and the wash tub. But this is like not really level. Uh, do we have to have... Can we build the ghost, or is it literally place... I think it's literally place the building. Like, I'm going to have to have those materials. Huh. I don't know that that's going to be good, because that's a pretty big slope. Pretty big slope. Let's see. Let's buy this. Yeah, see, I've got to have the materials to even place it, like the trellis. Okay. Okay. And I need lighting. I think I want to do lighting anyway and before I do a laundry station. Of course, this little area right here wouldn't be bad for a laundry station. I just don't know if I want it right there. I mean, that would be a decent area, too. I could probably get two market stalls in there. I don't know. Of course, I talked about putting the market stalls here but i don't know if they're i'm not even sure they would fit right there between the fence and the road 
course, we have to get to them first. Okay, so lighting. I think what I'd like to do is use these new standing fire bowls um, because they require one clay bowl and one linen thread with three sticks, um, which I'm short on sticks as it is, but I can't do the lantern. I don't have enough technology yet. And the standing torch actually takes one linen fabric and one linen thread. So it actually takes two linen thread because one linen thread makes one linen fabric. So it takes more linen than this does. I think I want to do the standing bowls. So we need to make some clay bowls. Uh, what does it take to make clay bowls? Clay bowl is two clay. I don't know if I have enough clay. How much clay do I have? Let's go to materials. Oh, I got 107 clay. Um, Let's make twenty. Yeah, that would probably be okay. Let's try and make twenty. So that'll be forty clay. Is that right? Thirty. Forty. Can I carry all that? Yes, I can. So forty clay. Let's go make twenty clay bowls. And the bowl. 20. Quick craft. We like the quick craft. There we go. 20 clay bowls. And then we needed... I think it was one linen thread. Yeah, one linen thread. So let's see if we can get 20 linen thread. Do I have linen thread made? I do have 363. I have just enough. Uh, so I need 20. 20. And then we needed three sticks per. So I need 60 sticks. I got to go out and gather some sticks or chop some trees or something. Of course, I have, I have quite a few trees or logs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now go in here. Nope, that was the trellis. We want lighting. Uh, oh, I didn't buy that. Let's buy that. And then that. Okay, so obstacles. So like I could place that between the building or do I want to? Um, maybe on the corner of some of these buildings? So like maybe... Like in the corner of here. Um, do I want to spin that? Maybe have that foot like that. Yeah, I like that. Let's let's put one in there, and then we'll do the same thing over here. There we go. Uh, maybe one, can I place one in here? We'll do one there. And we'll place this one literally in front of the building here. That's what looking pretty good. I like that. So, like, I wonder if I should place one, like, in front of each of the house or uh, buildings here. Like, there. Like, under the sign. Can't place it under the sign for the resource storage. But I can place it out next to the mound. Like, halfway there. Maybe we'll do a halfway in this wall, too. That's looking good. How many more can I build? Does it tell me? No, it doesn't tell me anywhere how many more I can build. Although I've placed, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've placed seven, so I got 13 more. Okay. Uh, come on. It's not bad. Now this one here, is 
since we're placing it under the sign like that and then here is that going to place yeah right there oh but then this one's going to place here yeah okay i don't know let's let's definitely place this one here come on place that one there because just having these two here seems awful close together. Uh, let's place one over here. That way we're kind of lighting up Main Street. And then we're going to do one on each side of this. Hang on. How many? Let's go back into this. I need to see how many I haven't been counting. Um, eight. We can place eight more. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like that's right. All right, so we can place one here and here. Uh, now this one here is back. All right, I think we're just going to place it at the corner of the building like that. I don't, I don't want to place it back here. I just, I don't think that that would look right. And then we can place this one there. There we go. Got Main Street lit. We got a little bit of lighting around the seating area. That looks pretty good. Now, one thing we could do, since the well is here, we could pull my torch out and do a fence so like um like the log fence like we could do a log fence like behind this so let's let's do can i place that there like that so there'll be a fence behind the well and then there's a little pathway there. And then maybe we bring this down. What is that? One, two, three, four sections, maybe? Along the roadway like this. And then we can come back up behind the building a little bit. So maybe... Like this, maybe a little bit farther. Something like that. Now, granted, that's not done. I mean, maybe I'll maybe I'll run that on further or something. But what I'm kind of thinking is we could do um, maybe this fence here. Take this one along here oh, I'm trying to line that up with the corner of the building right there and granted I'll probably have to redo that fence along here this log fence but what I'm thinking I would have to remove this the wash tub but we could come in here I can remove some of these plants like that. And that. I know it's dark. <laughs> I need to destroy that. Let's get rid of all this gravel road. Kind of let you know what I'm doing here because I really haven't said yet. But. I'm thinking maybe doing those workstations like this laundry station. Sadly, I can't place it yet because I don't have oh, I do uh, two logs and eight planks. Okay, let's go grab that. But anyway, yeah, I, I can do that later. But maybe we have like a wash tub 
and the the water or the uh, washing station maybe maybe even put two of them out here and then we also have uh where are they at laundry stations we also have these clothesline i'd probably end up doing like something like this they all take the same amount of materials six sticks and one linen thread but then i could put like um i don't know six or eight uh clothes lines out here and then this would be like the clothes washing area i like that we we might put some of the uh uh where are they at containers yeah the containers like we could probably put like a few sacks out here so people have you know got their dirty laundry in sacks and they come and they they place their sacks you know along the fence or something of items to be washed and then maybe have a uh a wash tub here or maybe a yeah maybe a wash tub and a, a station and a wash tub and a station and then we have uh maybe clothes lines going along this wall here and then maybe we put uh like some ta a couple of tables out here um with chairs in front of them to where like they're folding the clothes kind of a thing i kind of like that i mean obviously we're not doing that right now because it's like getting dark and you know <laughs> it's stuff <laughs> <laughs> but anyway we kind of got a plan but i think we're going to call this an episode i appreciate everybody joining me today if you are liking these episodes definitely hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so i greatly appreciate it special thank you to my members you should be able to see them on the screen now and we will see you folks in the next one you take care and happy hunting